The premier enterprise-grade desktop virtualization solution recommended by Citrix is Zen Desktop. Zen Desktop is a hugely popular, similar to VMware View, and it's uh, been implemented at you know thousands of businesses around the world uh, of all sizes, but mostly medium and large size enterprises. It works with Zen Desktop, Hyper-V, and vSphere as the underlying hypervisor. So unlike VMware View that only will work with vSphere as the hypervisor, Zen Desktop is pretty much hypervisor agnostic, or at least it supports the big three names. Zen Desktop offers the HDX protocol, which they describe as the high definition user experience to send the images of the screen or the screen graphics from the server or from the virtual desktop running in the virtual infrastructure down to the thin client device, portable device, laptop, whatever the end user device is. So this protocol is in competition with VMware's PC over IP and it could be compared to uh, Microsoft's RDP. However, um, HDX and PC over IP are both more tailored to delivering multimedia graphics over wide area network connections and even over the internet. Citrix Zen Desktop offers a range of desktop user experiences with VDI just being one of them. In other words, Zen Desktop also offers session virtualization, uh, application publishing. They have various ways of getting the applications to the end users besides simply giving them uh, their desktop uh, via a personal virtual machine that every user connects to. Citrix Receiver is really the client piece of Citrix Zen Desktop and the Citrix Receiver client works on portable devices um, such as an iPhone or iPad or Android and then also on desktop devices like laptops or desktop computers. So at this point, I'd like to show you what Citrix Zen Desktop looks like, both from the perspective of an administrator as well as from the perspective of an end user. From the perspective of the typical Zen Desktop administrator, this is where you spend most of your time. This is called the Citrix Desktop Studio. So from here, you can monitor and configure the Citrix Zen Desktop virtual infrastructure. Here you see on the dashboard tab, uh, you can see what's going on. You've got an overview of your servers, your desktop groups, where you're getting high CPU, uh, where you're getting latency, uh, any problems that are occurring in the Citrix Zen desktop infrastructure, you would see right here. And then if we look at assignments, assignments in Zen desktop are groups of desktops. So actually in VMware view, we would call these pools. So you can go in and let's edit the settings on one of our pools here and you can see uh, which users or groups of users are assigned to this uh, desktop assignment. And then on the delegation section here you can see which administrators are assigned to be able to uh, administer this group of virtual desktops. That's called the delegation. Then you've got uh, end user settings, so the name of the virtual desktops that they're connecting to, basically the name of this desktop pool, the number of desktops per user, uh, color information, time zone information, all this is configured on the desktop assignment. And then you can configure power management. So this is what you want to do to try to save power or electricity in the data center by shutting off desktops when you think those desktops won't be used. So uh, you can actually um, disconnect users, you can set um, actions here and time and date ranges, uh, day of the week ranges to power off uh, the virtual machines, the end user desktops, when you think they're not going to be used. Now Citrix Zen Desktop will power them back on if you know a bunch of users log in and they need access to their desktops. It just might take a little bit longer if you've configured those desktops to be powered off. And then you have the access policies, which is basically how the end users can access the desktop through what method. So that's the Citrix Desktop Studio, the administrative console for Citrix Zen Desktop. Now I'd like to show you what it looks like for an end user to connect to their virtual desktop when it's provided by Citrix Zen Desktop. 
This is a Citrix Zen app server, and I know it's kind of confusing because you've got Citrix Zen desktop and Zen app. Um, Zen app is typically for application virtualization um, and the presentation or streaming of applications over the network. Um, but this Citrix Zen app server is also a way for end users to access their complete personal virtual desktop. So I'm just going to log in here as administrator for now. And then you can see here's the two different desktop assignments or the two different desktop pools that you saw over in the Citrix Desktop Studio. We've got the accounting and the marketing pool. So we could click on one of these to access our virtual desktop. And there you go. You can see we're logging into our Windows 7 virtual desktop that we access through the Citrix Zen Desktop and Zen App web interface. Another way for end users to access their Citrix Zen desktop is the Citrix receiver client. So notice the Windows 7 icon there that I just clicked on on the start menu. That was created thanks to the Citrix receiver. So here you can see I've got my desktop in a window and that was uh, all thanks to installing the Citrix receiver client. So the Citrix receiver is a client that can be installed on just about any type of device. Um, of course a Windows desktop or laptop system but also a Mac, Linux, Windows Mobile, Android, iPad, and iPhone. So that's the Citrix receiver client, and it's really the recommended way that end users would access their Citrix Zen desktop virtual machine. Now that I've demonstrated how to administer Citrix Zen desktop through the Citrix Desktop Studio, as well as how to access your desktops through two different options, the web interface and with the Citrix receiver, let's go back to our slides. Now let's talk about Citrix Zen App. Zen App is an application virtualization solution from Citrix. It can be paired up with Zen Desktop, and the goal of Zen App is to deliver applications to end users. The moniker on the Citrix website is to deliver applications as cost-effective on-demand services to any users anywhere. These applications can be delivered with the Citrix HDX protocol or the more legacy Citrix protocol ICA. ZenApp offers a self-service portal, and in a way, Citrix ZenApp does compete with VMware's ThinApp because they're both application virtualization solutions, but they go about things quite differently. ThinApp is much smaller, and it's really just used to package the applications and make them into single executables, as well as update those executables as needed, whereas ZenApp is uh, quite a bit uh, larger of a package and uh, as I mentioned here, it's got a self-service portal, and it has multiple ways of delivering the applications to the users over the network. The third Citrix solution here that I'd like to talk about is called VDI in a Box. That's what Citrix has renamed this solution. It actually came from a company called Kaviza. So uh, Citrix bought Kaviza uh, because uh, Kaviza actually offered a a very simple desktop virtualization uh, solution, especially for small and medium-sized businesses. Whereas Citrix Zen Desktop is a large enterprise-grade desktop virtualization solution, VDI in a Box is a much smaller desktop virtualization solution that's ideal for small and medium-sized businesses. So uh, VDI in a Box does support multiple hypervisors, it's quick and easy to install. They claim you can install it in three steps. It provides anytime, anywhere remote access. No storage area network is required to use VDI in a box. The scalability is super easy. Basically, you add another physical server, install the VDI in a box virtual machine on it. It joins up uh, the VDI infrastructure, and there you go. End users start connecting to it. It's super simple to use, and high availability is even included uh, with the base functionality of VDI in a box. So I was actually very interested to try out VDI in a box for myself. Like Citrix Zen Desktop and Zen App, there is a free trial of VDI in a box. So I went to the Citrix website. I opted to use my existing vSphere hypervisor to deploy it. You can even use the free version of ESXi, or you can use the free version of Hyper-V or Zen Server. You deploy the virtual machine, you create a base operating system with any applications you want as another virtual machine, and then basically you're up and running, and the end users uh, using their thin client devices or the VDI in a box 
uh, client that you would install can start connecting to this desktop virtualization solution. So at this point I'd like to demonstrate Citrix's VDI in a box solution. For my demonstration of VDI in a box I've set up a, a VDI in a box virtual machine. It's running on my vSphere ESXi server and uh, if I go down here to the vSphere client you can see here's the VDI in a box virtual machine and then I've gone through the process of uh, setting up a golden template virtual machine uh, that will be used by uh, end users to connect and that's what these other three virtual machines are. One is the template, the other two are the two virtual machines that the end users would connect to. So here uh, this is the web-based administrative console for VDI in a box. It takes a little bit to set it up but honestly compared to other solutions you know that are more complex, more enterprise grade like Citrix Zen Desktop or VMware View, uh, the time to set this up really um, isn't that great and it leads you through the whole process uh, in a wizard-like uh, format. So here I've got uh, two virtual machines already ready to go. I've created images, I've created uh, templates, I've also connected uh, to a server, that's my ESXi host, then I assigned a user named Bob. So this is what the administrative console looks like here and as you can see it's real easy to see how much capacity you have um, in the virtual infrastructure. If you need to add additional capacity it's super easy you add another free ESXi server deploy the VDI in a box virtual appliance to it and then add it to the grid. VDI in a box will even replicate your virtual desktop template over to the new server and that's going to provide you not only additional capacity but also high availability. So let's say that I'm an end user and I want to test out VDI in a box. There's actually multiple ways to connect to your desktop but I'm going to use the web browser option so if I go here to another tab I've got open and then if I log in here as Bob, just an Active Directory user that I set up, press enter and it automatically connects me to my VDI in a box virtual machine. And I'm automatically logged in as Bob, the Active Directory user uh, that I typed in over there on the web page. I didn't even have to authenticate a second time. Uh, the connection honestly is super fast. Uh, the performance is really good as well. I can go down here to start all programs, uh, open up Internet Explorer, you know, accessories, um, open up Paint, whatever I want to do. Um, as an administrator, I would have already configured the enterprise applications for my end users uh, back on the template virtual machine that I created. All right, so that's VDI in a box, a great solution from Citrix for the SMB when it comes to desktop virtualization. This is formerly called Kaviza. Um, and I encourage you to check it out. They've got a free 30-day evaluation uh, so you can see how it works on your own infrastructure uh, with your real end users. So with that, let's go back to our slides.